Hello and welcome back to Shadowrun for the Super Nintendo, which might be the final video. I just desperately needed to take a uh, nap there. And we're up to the fourth floor. Hooray! Per usual, you go invisible, and suddenly combat is kind of trivial. Which is fine because combat in this game is not the best. Okay, so suppose as we're getting close to the end, um, so while I like the uh, inner, the first half of this game with all of the. Um, kind of exploring and almost adventure game sort of thing where you try to figure out how stuff works and stuff like that and what happened to you when you got shot. Um, well, once you got onto the boat, it just became all of this, which is... It's combat, which... Uh, it's definitely not the strong suit of uh, this version of Shadowrun. Ugh. Elevator activated. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Um. There isn't much over there, and it's just money, but hey, why not? Um, but yeah, the kind of the gameplay aspect of this uh, game definitely I want to give to the uh, Sega Genesis version. Um, I think what I don't like about this is the pseudo mouse movement, which really, really does not go over well with um, the um, how fast paced the action is, and also like. Yeah, using a cyber deck to get into a computer takes forever. So while the story I really enjoy, the kind of the meat and potatoes of this game kind of iffy. And 
like, okay, I, I get making the character a Decker Shaman because um, it, it, it definitely is kind of like a, a one character. Okay, who the heck is Otto? You make Otto mad. Otto down to his coat. Ah, I'm hit. I guess the big guy was Otto? But yeah, I want to like this game. I really do. And in general, I kind of do. But... <sighs> Neki has sent Otto, the bad boy troll decker, to dispense of you. Okay. So. This is it. This is the final room. And yeah, like, either 16-bit Shadowrun games... Like, the beginning of both of them are really, really good, but it just, mm. both start with a roar and end with a mule, really, and I'm just taking these out because why not? One of these computers yet yeah, you can hack into but it's kind of also like why you can get money but you're at literally the final room AI computer certainly hit for a beast. It is that it? That's it. Program downloaded. So yeah, this is uh, apparently based off of a uh, novel. Warning, 20 seconds until detonation. And uh, yeah. Armitage, I've been expecting you. You will pay for your sabotage. Notice that I'm not even doing anything here. Finish him! Escape before the computer blows!
but yeah, it's from a novel, uh, Shadowrun novel called Never Deal with a Dragon. And yeah, that, that's the end. Um, a bit anticlimactic, like e even even the Genesis Shadowrun kind of ended with like a um, great kind of like end fight. <sighs> but this isn't the uh, last time we will be heading into the world of Shadowrun. Um, apparently one of the best Shadowrun games came out for the Sega CD but only in Japan, and it's a uh, yep, game design Pauline Kid. Uh, but um, y yeah, it's a text-based adventure game. Never left Japan, which makes playing it kind of impossible. There was a group of people who were trying to translate it earlier, but about two years ago, something happened and they kind of stopped. I don't know what, no one said anything, but the project at the moment is kind of dead in water. That said, there's still a lot more Shadowrun to do. Um, there was an Xbox 360 Shadowrun game, which um, sucked. It was a multiplayer only arena fighting game. Yeah. That has very little to do with Shadowrun except for the name. And um, then eventually a uh, group of programmers called Hairbrain Studios released Shadowrun Returns. And that has a three game series. <sighs> I'm not going to be going at that just yet. Uh, I'm going to leave it some time. But... This isn't going to be the last time you were in Seattle. I can tell you that. You've done well, young one. Destiny is now in your hands. Live long, well. Live long. Thank you. If only you come closer, Dick. Almost had you on my grasp. Yeah, but you're, you're an incubus. Is Jake just gonna go around and talk to all the people? Turned out all wrong for me, that's all. Yep, certainly did. Now I wonder if this dwarven rat shaman is the same one from the bar at, um, in the Sega Genesis game. Why do you run? I will not hurt you, Jake. You know you can trust me. Tell me, Jake, did you guess or did you know? Um, I, I guess I knew because I was reading a walkthrough. We could not allow you to escape. We had to stop you. Don't hurt us. Keep away. We know nothing. We just work here. Oh. This isn't the end, Armitage. Well, maybe. We will meet again in Shadowrun 2! Which never happened. The Shadowrunners were... Hamfist. I think I heard him a couple of times. Jenga dance. I don't think I hired you. Orifice. I definitely hired you a few times. Dances with clams. Probably should have hired you, but yeah, I don't know about that. Frog tongue. Definitely hired you. 
Anders did not hire you. Probably would have been smart. Jet Boy, who is terrible. Like, seriously. Norbert, thought about hiring you, but yeah, I guess I didn't. Kitsu, hello. Yeah, you were in our party a lot. Spatter, didn't hire you. Yeah, I mean, I like your icon. Steel fight. Remember seeing you, but yeah, no. Nope. And Kimmy, you were okay for being the ultimate uh, person to join in. Pretty quiet around here, Sam. Remember the last time you said that. Uh-oh. You have reached the end. Heck. Oh, they didn't reach the end. Thank you for playing Shadowrun. Developed by Beam Software. Ah, well, Jake Armitage ends his place at the place that it began. A morgue. But that has been Shadowrun for the Super Nintendo. When we come back, folks, I'm not sure yet. Have a good one.